Governor Ifanyu Kowa of Delta State on Friday said that the state recorded 83 new cases of COVID-19 in two days due to community transmission. The governor said the situation became aggravated because people failed to observe the prescribed protocols such as wearing a face mask in public places, maintaining social and physical distancing and others to keep the virus in check. The governor said that the 400 confirmed cases of COVID-19 recorded in the state as at June 18 was largely due to the failure of residents to obey stipulated guidelines for the containment of the disease. The governor noted that the level of infection was on the rise due to the lackadaisical attitude of people who erroneously believed that the pandemic was a fluke. Joining us now is Victor Ojai, PRO, Delta State Coalition of Civil Societies. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Uh, the figures coming in are from Delta appears disturbing and the governor has said this is due mainly to people's lackadaisical attitude. Do you agree? Yes, it's true. He's right. For once, um, the governor, he, he admitted, he said the truth. What needs to be done differently then? I mean, one would expect that with the fact that the governor's daughter has tested positive, the state commissioner for information has tested positive, we have some other persons in high position testing positive and currently in isolation. Uh, shouldn't that be enough to confirm to the people uh, that there is uh, COVID-19? What needs to be done differently? The truth is that people don't actually believe that there is COVID-19 in Delta states. Because when you go to the market square, for instance, you find out that there is no social distancing. That means if the COVID-19 was actually in um, Delta state, as about to be precise, it would spread like a wildfire. Because when you judge from the figures you get from other countries, you know, you will hardly believe that uh, this COVID-19 is real, despite we know it's real. So what needs to be done differently is that the government needs to go to the hinterland. The government also needs to um, ensure that um, social distancing is observed, though it's very difficult to achieve the social distancing. But they just need to create uh, volunteers that could work alongside the government, because the government cannot do it alone. So volunteers should come to the market square and ensure that on a daily basis that they ensure that they advise and caution people to maintain that social distancing because that is one of the best ways to reduce the spread of the COVID-19. And then the use of nose mask um, implementation is uh, not doing very bad, but um, I would advise that uh, the Nigerian police should be um, schooled not to chase uh, defaulters. Because a few days ago, at Wari, a Venza ran into three people while being chased by the Nigerian police because um, the driver of the Venza was not wearing face masks. So the police gave them a hot chase and they eventually crashed three persons.